Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and this is a Cancerian-only channel. Um, Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could go to my main channel, Tarot of Light. Uh, the link is in the description box below. Um, I do have a Leo only channel and a Virgo only channel. So if you have those signs uh, in your chart or if you cross watch for them, feel free to check it out. The, the links are in the description box below. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. Um, I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. So just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. Winners are announced on the first of the month um, on the community page, okay? Uh, what else do I want to tell you? Readings can be vice versa. So flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Oh, Cancer, we've got the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords. What's going on, guys? You guys are, are, yeah, someone's going through it here. I don't know if that's you or your person, Cancer, but let's see. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we have Faith. And we've got the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. Tell me about Cancer, please. We've got the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And we've got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer in love. We've got the King of, of Wands here, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. And we've got the Ten of pentacles so cancer i don't know if this is your side or your person side but someone here is praying or manifesting for something to take place this is kind of like a vibe of just give me a sign just give me a sign. Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knight of Swords. It's like, if you just give me a sign, I'll swoop in and we'll do this. Do you understand what I'm saying? King of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. There is someone here, Cancer, um, that really has their eye on someone here. So Cancer, I don't know if this is a new person. I don't know if this is a past person. Um, but someone here is ready to pounce. Like, that's the vibe that I'm getting. Like, just give me a sign and I'll come in and take over everything. Strong Aries energy here, guys. Like, just give me, give me a call. Give me a sign. I will be there. Temperance. Somebody's waiting. They're waiting to pounce. I'm telling you, Cancer. This is somebody with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Maybe they're unsure if the person that they want feels the same way. But if there's a sign, just give me a sign and I'll be there in a, in a heartbeat. All right, let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about faith for cancer. We've got the full card, Aries energy. Tell me about the emperor here, please. We've got the two of swords in the reverse. I feel like this person's wondering if they should take a risk or not. Um, the Emperor and the Two of Swords in the reverse. This is someone that's holding their stance. They're holding their ground. This is a very dominant type of energy. They're waiting for somebody to give in to them. We have the Hierophant here. The Eight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles with the Chariot. Oh, cancer. This is somebody that 
Okay, so let me just say this. With the Emperor and the Hierophant, there is a very high potential that this person's in a relationship, even married with children. Let me just put that out there. It doesn't have to be. I'm not seeing the Three of Swords. I'm not seeing threes anywhere. It doesn't have to be, but it can be, okay? So this could be someone, you know, that's in a relationship that with the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Cups wants to move towards new love because we do have the Two of Swords in the reverse and the Chariot. So someone here could be choosing pre-Empress energy, Nine of Pentacles, um, Virgo energy. It could be a Cancer here. It could be a Taurus. But Cancer, there's a vibe here of, you know, if you just bow down to me and give me a sign, I'll give you the world. I'll give you marriage. I'll give you my heart. I'll give you everything. But just give me a sign. There, there's a very, like, strong energy here of just give me a wink. Give me something. Just give, give me, throw me a gang sign. Do, do something. I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Do, do something. Give me a sign. And I'll be there. We'll do this. I'll choose you. We can, we'll go, you know. Five of Wands, Six of Cups, the High Priestess. Uh, and I don't keep reversals in my deck, but the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. Somebody here may still be arguing with a past person um in secret or their intuition is telling them that they're not meant to be there because we saw that wheel of fortune in the reverse so someone here may have an ex in the picture still or you know somebody that they've known for longer because we've got the ace of cups and the six of cups here cancer so someone here may have someone in the picture still and secretly it's not working out with that five of wands energy there's a lot of strife a lot of drama in that connection and with the wheel of fortune in the reverse this is someone that knows that they're not supposed to be with this person so cancer this could be one of you or both of you that are in this energy of realizing that the person that you're currently with or the person that you just recently came from is not where it's at okay so i don't know if that's your energy or their energy but someone here is basically saying you know I'm your daddy and I know that I'm your mommy like you know the you know what I'm saying like we, we've got mom dad vibes here like I don't know I'm just seeing like I'm just seeing one person as being very strong the other person being very, I'm, I'm just getting very strong divine masculine divine feminine vibes here okay that's really what I'm picking up on um and I feel like someone here is like just give me a sign this person's not really paying attention to though you know what i'm saying this person's not really paying attention cancer this this uh you know pre empress energy looks like their mind and their business so i don't know if if you know what i'm saying look at that hierophant you know this person's like just throw me a gang sign throw me throw me something just throw me you know the something something pull your ear go like this with your nose just show me show me something and i'll come in i'll choose you we'll live together happily ever after with that ten of pentacles tell me about the six of pentacles in the reverse and the three of swords okay so this it could be a third party situation two of wands and the knight of swords with the queen of swords here and the devil yeah, and the uh, the Four of Swords. <clears throat> Someone here, I'm telling you, they're just waiting for a sign, Cancer. That's all this person's waiting for. I feel like with that Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Three of Swords, someone here may be stuck in a relationship where there is no equal give and take. They don't feel the same way about their person anymore. And with that Two of Wands and that Knight of Swords, this person's just waiting for a reason to leave. They're trying to find a solution. We've got that key here. They're trying to find a solution. They're trying to find a reason to, to uh, do I want to say it that way? I don't want to say it that way. They're trying to find a solution to their problem to be happy. Like they, they're not happy where they're at. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like this person maybe sees you as the solution to their happiness. I don't know. But with the four of swords, the devil and the queen of swords, this is someone that's dying to cut someone out of their life. They're sitting there peacefully waiting. They're sitting there peacefully waiting. Um, it's like, how can I put it? The vibe that I'm getting here, Cancer, is somebody that's in a relationship quite possibly that they're not happy in. They don't feel the same way about their person, but there's no actual reason to leave. They're kind of just comfortable where they are. Does that make sense? But now that they've met someone that they feel like they can have a life with, they're like, okay, just show me that you want me and I'll be out this bitch. Like that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here, Cancer. Tell me about the King of Wands for Cancer. Ten of Swords in the reverse. 
and then the ten of cups <clears throat> ten of cups ten of pentacles with the eight of cups and the four of wands cancer i'm telling you this is somebody that is in this energy i mean look at this king of wands the way it has he's so laser focused he or she because gender doesn't matter guys this is somebody that is so laser focused look at that on what they want and ten of swords in the reverse this is somebody that is willing to totally turn their back on something and not look back cancer okay this is somebody with that eight of cups energy that is willing to walk away to go pursue i mean look at these cards cancer this is so beautiful it's freaking disgusting this is just disgusting ten of cups ten of pentacles four of wands this is someone that wants forever with a, a person here but it's like you know what also cancer i feel like you know with this this faith card in this particular deck okay i feel like someone's been praying for a new beginning cancer they've been asking the divine show me a sign bring something to me that i should move on that i shouldn't stay here and you know and they got it they met somebody and they're like this is it this is the person i should be with but it's like do you feel the same way Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three of Wands and the Strength card. Leo Energy. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer. Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Leo's a strong Leo here. And then the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We've got the five of wands in the reverse and the wheel of fortune. <sighs> Cancer, I feel like the person on this side, I feel like the person on this side, it's like, this is somebody that is just not in a chasing type of vibe. Like this person's just going to wait and see what comes to them. Okay. It's quite obvious here that there's two people in the picture, a queen of swords and a queen of wands. And I feel like with the wheel of fortune and the five of wands in the reverse, the person on this side, the vibe that they're in is may the best man win. Like, th this is someone that's not going to compete for anybody. They're just not. This person's not going to compete for anybody. This is somebody that is smart enough to know that with the Hermit and the Nine of Cups, the only way to get what you want is to not, to not chase it. To not chase it. Your person on this side's like, you know what? whatever <laughs> you know the, the person on this side is like and that's why they're not really giving the person on this side any type of sign whatsoever because this person's like i'm not gonna throw up no signs no nothing i'm not gonna chase you i'm not gonna let you know anything if you want me you come get me that's it you know i this the person on this side is just like i'm not you know i'm not I'm not going to sit here and compete with anybody. You need to decide what you want for your life. Tell me about the three of wands and the nine of cups. Yeah, this person, it's like they know they're going to get their wish fulfillment. This is a very highly ascended person here. Tell me about this strength card and the page of swords. This is someone that is fully aware and they acknowledge that they have to hold back. That they, That, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, this is someone that's learned their lessons. Five of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Devil. This is someone that has experienced more than enough grief because they've danced with the devil long enough. So this is someone, I, I get a strong vibe that this is someone that's learned their lessons, Cancer. This is someone that's already worked with a devil. They've already, they've already, um, how can I put it? They've, they've already been in messed up situations. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like, I, I'm not going to chase anything. I don't chase anything. I don't, you know, this person's overcome ego. Do I want to say, tell me about the queen of swords. We've got the eight of pentacles. Tell me about the queen of wands and the three of cups. Yeah, so I, I feel like 
there's a vibe here, Cancer. This is definitely, I, I hate to say it, but this is definitely somebody that's on the outside of a relationship that is saying, listen, I'm not getting involved in anything. You need to go and work things out with this Queen of Swords energy. I understand if they're mean. I understand they're cold. I understand this. I understand they scream at you, whatever. But you need to go work on things with that. And I feel like what's happening here is someone is trying to come together with this Queen of, Wa this Queen of Wands energy. And this Queen of Wands energy is like, I'm not going to throw up any signs for you. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and entice you or do anything. You need to go home. Queen of Cups and the Knight of Wands and the Magician. Cancer, I feel that with that Wheel of Fortune energy, the Magician, I feel like this could potentially be your side, Cancer. And I feel that you have truly learned how to manifest here. Because with that Knight of Wands energy, you've got a lot chasing you here, Cancer. You have a lot chasing you here. And it's because you know what? You're not putting yourself in competition with anybody. Tell me about the five of wands in the reverse and the empress. And that's what makes you an empress, Cancer. And that's what makes you an empress. That you don't put yourself in competition with anybody. Seven of wands, five of pentacles, and the tower. Cancer, you will cut people off at the drop of a dime. Like you will not talk to people. You're not chasing people. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not going to put yourself in competition with anybody. And as soon as you feel like there might be competition, you're not, you, you don't even give it the time of day. And that's what makes you an emperor to this empress, Cancer. If you don't have what I'm offering, what, I, what I'm expecting you to offer, you just don't even look at it. You're just not in a vibe where you're chasing. I don't mean to say that you're being snobby, Cancer, or anything like that. But you've just come to know your worth. And you're not going to fight over anybody. You're not going to. You need to figure out your own life. And if you decide, I, you see what I'm offering. You see the, the what's on my table. You see what I'm saying? If you don't want it then go to another go somewhere else you see what i'm saying cancer you're just not in a vibe of like you know i've worked hard for what i got if you want it you want it if you don't that's it i'm not gonna sit here and try to you know change my hair change my body change my life change what i make change this change that to compete with someone else you've learned your lessons with that cancer and because of that you're gonna start to find that you're attracting more We've got the Six of Cups. We've got the Ace of Swords and the World card with the Death card. What we have here is somebody that's waking up to the fact that the past is dead and gone. That the old the old situation is dead and gone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Cancer, yeah, I feel like someone's waking up to the fact that they want to end something with a past person and move towards this energy here five of swords and the hanged man yeah someone here's been waiting long enough with that five of swords energy to go after what they want eight of swords they've been bound long enough eight of wands with the chariot there's forward movement here nine of swords and the high priestess this does come with fear though this does come with fear though So Cancer, let me just backtrack here. If you've been in a relationship with somebody that was putting you in a third party connection, you are no longer standing for this and you're separating yourself and you're ascending. And that's going to leave this person to figure out what they want in life. So how can I put this? You're no longer bringing peace to this person's life. Like they're not going to get to have their cake and eat it too. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person can't get whatever they want out of you and then maintain their stability someplace else. Like you can't make life easier for them 
to go home and live a peaceful life. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, it's like, listen, if you're living in a miserable situation, then you need to live in that miserable situation and you on your own without outside influence need to figure out what you're going to do with that. And then if when you're done with that, if I'm still available, then you can come hit me up. You're no longer going to make it easy for this person to, you know, have what they have and then have their eat their cake too. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I don't know where you are in all of that cancer. I don't know, you know, what role you play in these three situations. But someone here is either realizing that the old you is dead and gone cancer that you've changed that either they need to ante up or, you know, it's time to, what does they say, shit or get off the pot. You see what I'm saying? That they need to ante up. And that's it. Do you understand? So you guys are at a face-off right now with that two of swords energy that we saw here. You guys were at a face, a standoff at one point. And this emperor energy thought that you would cave. And you did not cave. Instead, you ascended cancer. Do you understand what I'm saying? You ascended and you're like, no, I may love you. I may want you. I may do all of these things, but I'm not going to compete for you. And I'm not going to continue to be mistreated while you sit there and try to work things out with the queen of swords. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to sit here and be mistreated while you continue to try to work things out over there. No, that's not the way this is going to go. And you pulled back your energy. And you decided to surrender to the divine. You've changed cancer. Someone here is ascending and growing. So somebody here is coming to the realization that it's never going to go back to the way it used to be cancer. It's never going to go back to the way it used to be. So I, I feel like this person's coming to the realization that they have to break their own chains if they want to be happy. So let's see what's going to happen from here, Cancer. What is this Emperor energy going to do? What is What's going to happen here? What actions is this person going to take? What are the long-term effects going to be? We're going to dig a little bit deeper into this whole situation, okay? All right, guys. I love you all so very much, and I will see you guys in the extended. The link will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. Take care, my loves.